So everyone, um, Tara is, uh, continue. Tara is in, uh, New York, New Jersey this, uh, week with family for the holidays. And, uh, I, I needed some help for, uh, this, uh, this final, what I draw you of way too, but is a special one. So I couldn't just one person wasn't enough. I, I needed for Tara, we, we needed two people to take over for all she brings to this, this horrible, horrible thing we do. Folks, we have with me, with us tonight, um, both Luke, uh, who, uh, has a wonderful show over at Rocked on, uh, YouTube to check his stuff out. Uh, and we have Dominic Noble as well, who is, uh, as his show Lost in Adaptation, as well as various and sundry other things on the YouTubes. And, uh, thank you both for being here tonight. I appreciate it. Um, you're welcome. Dom also hosts the fabulous Thirst Trap Central on Instagram, if you're curious. Oh, boo. It's, it's tasteful. It's tasteful. Tasteful, thirsty Englishman over on Instagram for all those who want to follow. Dominic, two underscores, Noble. You must remember the second underscore. Mm -hmm. Oh, Dash, are you confused? Dom, did I tell anything that was inaccurate? Not in a truthful sense, but... Uh -huh. Did you did you tell Luke I was gonna be here? Because I was surprised he agreed. <laughs> I for the bit I was for the bit I was actually thinking of just clicking off as soon as it would, but that <laughs> really would have messed up Nash's stuff. So I was like, no, no, don't you back. That's that would have been funny though. Ah, <laughs> oh, so it's uh we have our regular news first, and then wonderful things. Cool. Oh. Regular? Yes, yes. Well, we call it that. All right, let's get the intro rolling tonight thank you every i i this is sort of like a experimental setup getting I, i've always had like two people on screen i'm trying to get discord to work with three people and it's it's uh it's this is the first time you've run a train on this show goodness dom that's i'm so close to hitting the s button on this one perfectly so acceptable close. terminology no actually it's not it's that not, actually has nothing not, to do with this that 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 is it's not is this the first time you had a human centipede on the show here, Nash? Goodness. <laughs> Who's the middle piece? Not it. I'll go to the front. I've both the guys got it going on. I'll be the doctor. There. Oh, yeah, good, cool. Yeah, yeah. I'm safe. You, you regretting this, Nash? It's <laughs> week! <laughs> Catherine, and you dead Roy, it's called the Worldwide Interwebs. Find all sorts of horrible stuff. Bring back here for the segment we like to call the fuck is wrong with you and um see oh this is gonna be a little up all right let's start with uh with the uk uh <laughs> well the best stuff is and of course we we have fallout from uh from what's left of christmas ever since we've had this history of grown men dressing up as santa claus there's also been this combination. Oh, it's going to get sexual, isn't it? No. Mm -hmm. With alcohol. And uh, it's a proud old terrible tradition. That's what comes to us from Cornwall. We got video. So let's let's bring that up. Uh, drug Santas in a tank cause chaos. If Santa Claus a tank. Now, are you sure this isn't some type of GTA 5 mod? No, <laughs> this, is, this is actually... This the Christmas right. state. <laughs> the Santas in their tank visited several towns that day. There was a hell up in a small Cornish village where a group of Santas tried to drive a tank and got stuck damaging a car and blocking access to the famously decorated streets. I'm stuck on a vitamins advert. I just keep seeing this woman doing yoga over and over again. I'm on a business advert right now. I'm not. Uh... Oh, here we go. I'm on the tank now. Oh. Uh, it's only a needle tank. They could have dealt with that. I don't know. Wait. So, so was, was, okay, was Santa supposed to have a tank and he just got intoxicated? Or did he get intoxicated and still ha somehow get himself a tank while drunk? Well, th this is, well, there's a, there was a plethora of, sir, I don't know what we call a pack of Santas. 
is it if, like is it a murder of Santa's? Is it a a a, a plague of Santa's? A troop? A um? There, a Klaus of Santa's. Does one of the Santas look orange, or is that just my monitor? Because if I saw an orange Santa, I'd be feeling a little bad for the guy. Um, yes, it's no, it's not red. It's not Coca Cola. Yeah, it's not red. Exactly. When traffic work also, be... go ahead, go ahead. Sorry. When traffic warden can be heard telling them off and insisting they can go no further, you can cut come in with your tank. There are cars parked here. One of the Santas, not the driver, tries to argue, but is visibly too drunk. While the driver then argues with the traffic warden about being allowed allowed into the village. There's been no suggestion the driver was drinking. Heard the scene. Uh, wh- wh- why? Why a tank? This, uh, yeah, the, whoever wrote this article has a shocking lack of curiosity towards why are you dressed as Santa? Where did you get this fucking tank? Also, there's no hype up on this article at all. This is a miracle for Christmas, and you're not going to even celebrate a little bit of it? <laughs> if I was five years old and saw this, I would have lost my mind. That is true. The only way this could be better is if it was running a dinosaur. That's the only thing a child would fi- find more exciting. I I stay back with the tank and say he's shooting out presents with the tank cannon. Uh, what else would I have ever wanted in his five years? I look for Cord Christmas year round at that point. Like th- uh, th- this is this is a multiverse event. Is what's happened here? You have all these Santa and a good one. Yeah. Like tank Santa went around and got all the other multi-dimensional Santas together. Were they working together, or was this like a Highlander that can be only one Santa a thing, and one motherfucker cheated by bringing a tank? Ooh, yeah. And they all have to stuff each other down another chimney to be the yeah. last one standing. What? Yeah. I mean, Santa Hunger Games. I, I think a kid could be very excited about this, but you know, if you're trying to drive somewhere, and there's there's a bunch of drunken guys in Santa outfits, and a fucking tank is like, you can't go I, through. This shit's happening yeah. now. I don't go. How did the writer of this article not think, man? I should probably find out why and how, not just what. You know, There's no curiosity has, on this one. Huh? Poor there has journalistic. to be also just on the post post side of it. There has to be some type of mugshot interview, someone a wi- eyewitness yeah. describing it. There has to be something. Like, what part of this was planned? Was the Santa part planned? Was the tank part planned? Or was the drunk part planned? Or was this some sort of union of all three events not supposed to be happening in Cornwall? Like, I must know. Is Cornwell some type of military establishment? No, it's the countryside. It's where people go to chill. It's, it's, uh, it's the fields of sheep and then whatever we grow, I forget. This more sheep. They don't have, oh, they don't have tanks, though. No! No, I don't okay. think, I mean, there's bound to be some sort of military thing somewhere, but like, it's more, like the South is more about the Navy, I think. You got like Torquay and like all the, the Navy stuff in, in uh, the bit near that. Where have we got the victory? Um, the bit- this is the best UK history lesson I've ever heard. <laughs> the victory in the HMS victory. There's a whole, there's a whole dockyard down somewhere. I, I, I do want to know how many Santas total. Was this just what we saw on screen, or was this like a big flash mob of Santas at a tank? Because there are so many questions that I do want an answer for, and I don't think we'll ever get it. All we know is drunk Santas in a tank in England. Old Smith, that's what I was thinking of. But yes, drunk Santas, what the fuck? Nash, we've been one-upped in our Santa game here in the States. I mean, completely one-upped. Yeah. Oh, also, it's a very inaccurate title because he should be saying Father Christmases. Because only you motherfuckers call him Santa. That's true. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, so, again, is that another strike against this author? This 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 journalist needs to hand in their badge and their gun or whatever she must carry. <laughs> Depending on what the journalist is, yes, they actually probably you leave me I know you ignore it. Senior reporter, well, you're busted uh, down to junior, hand in your, your seniority pigeon or whatever you carry. Ah, uh, we're well, moving right along. Uh, there's only a very loose segue on this one that, that Christmas involves trees. That's all I've got on this one, and it doesn't make any more sense than that. that that's about as far as it goes. Trees, that's all we got. Man arrested after attempting to fight tree. <laughs> oh, we're back. Are we, this is all. Oh, oh, no. I would have bet money on Florida for this one. Yeah. Okay. okay. There's one thing that could completely excuse this. Was he dressed as Saruman? That's the only one thing that would make this make perfect sense. <laughs> oh, I was going to guess Rocket Raccoon. Oh, that's. 
Yeah. Uh, both good guesses, both good guesses. It was probably a losing battle from the beginning for one Sarnia man. Uh, here in County, a uh, police made an arrest late, la week, late last week after police found a man trying to fight a tree while allegedly intoxicated. Oh, uh, the 39-year-old man. Alleged. Right. I love like you can tell him he was trying to fight up a tree and not that he'd been drinking. Like, I feel like A equals B, to be honest. <laughs> uh, police found him intoxicated and attempting to fight a tree. What? So did it win? Who won? We don't know. Someone clearly won in a fight like this. We know that. There is a winner. I love that even the police are just like, this is just kind of embarrassing. Like, the man received a ticket and was held overnight to sober up. So it's more like they gave him a big meal and sent him home. Because <laughs> it's just like, we're not even going to arrest you, dude. Because like, I don't think this tree is going to press charges. But y'all need to calm down. <laughs> you know? Yeah. We saved, you know, that tree could have really roughed you up. You should yeah. thank I'm, us. I'm pretty sure he, if you're that, if you're drunk enough to fight a tree, you've already lost. Why, yeah. why wasn't the tree taken in for questioning? That's what I want to know. Like, is this is, this is like anti-human prejudice. Like, maybe the tree started it. Maybe it, like, they, threw an acorn. They put, they put the handcuffs on the branch. Yeah. It just left it there. Come on, tree beard, you're coming in. Ugh. It's just... I do feel that this is another situation, though. If I was, because this had to have been somewhat in the public, if a drunk guy could get to it, this was not deep in the woods. There's no way, not a chance. I deep in the woods, and I imagine they would have just left him to it, because like, yeah, man, go fight your tree. But yeah, this was probably like on on a street corner. I also yeah. noticed that they're not using the. They, normally, in the situation like this, they're using the the person's name on the record. They're not doing that this time. Like no. that's that's <laughs> maybe it's the Canada thing. They're being polite about it, but. That's a hell of a thing, because you'd be, like, every time you try to apply for a job, someone would search your name, it was like, did you fight a tree? Well, he, he's 39, that's what they, they knew his age, but not his name, so yeah, 39-year-old man, which is... 39-year-old man, also known as Oak Fighter, was arrested today. Just give him the title, just give it to him. Or an Oaken Dick, or Oaken Hater. <laughs> there could be only one body oak in this here street corner there. <laughs> just talking, it's... Oh. Uh, uh, we got some more drunken shenanigans, and yeah, this, this one is... He should have brought the Santas with him, then they could have brought the tank in. Oh, man, I got backup. Come on, bullets! Come on, I'll be a Santas and fucking chieftain tank. The trees does nothing. It, the tree does nothing, because it's a tree. Yeah. Kind of how trees work. They're not really all that active. Ugh. Why is this odd? Damn you! Fucking work! Issues. Everything, everything okay over in England, Dom? Because we're getting the glimpse of some holiday nightmares. I don't know. I left on purpose. I'm like, <laughs> because of the holidays? Yeah. I'm on the thing. Some more drunken shenanigans here. Arizona. Uh, okay, that's definitely not England. <laughs> body cam shows alleged DUI driver swimming out of Chandler Lake. Crashing SUV, which there, there, there are questions that need to be asked here. Um, body cam video shows an alleged DUI driver swimming out of a Chandler Lake after police say she crashed her SUV into it and allegedly lied to officers about what happened. Police say the crash happened just after midnight. Uh, body cam shows 22 year old Dakota Desley or Delcy. That's that that's a that, that's a romance novel name. Um, swimming out of the lake. Is there anyone else? Says one officer. Um, Delcy first told officers she was a passenger. Think hard. Was there anyone else in the car with you? One officer asked. She said someone else was driving and provided someone's name. Uh, how far is the car? Does anyone have a window breaker? Several officers began walking the lake, searching for the SUV and the second alleged person. Fire crews and officers worked hard to find the driver telling out the name Delcy gave them. However, detectives say they learned it wasn't true. They say Delcy was arrested on accusations of false reporting and driving up the insulin. So she drove into the lake drunk and then proceeded to be like, oh, it wasn't me. It was my, it was my friend. It was Jim Bob. <laughs> Shit. Well, th did she, did she give a name? Like, <laughs> there, there was no name. Not to us. I mean, Jim uh... Bert. David Son. Jones, he's under the sea now. 
Okay, you stay here. We're gonna send a search team. Screw those that burning orphanage. We're going into this lake yeah. right now. Like you got all the fucking cops out there calling this guy's fucking name. He's just standing on the on the, the on the shore like this is gonna work. They're buying search. Yeah, yeah. I think he's just... behind the other the seaweed there. I mean, considering how I feel about cops, this is actually just kind of funny to me. Yeah. <laughs> I th- I, what's her plan? As soon as they all go underwater, that's what I run for. It's true. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. yeah. Misdirection. Yes. Like it's. I'm sure, uh, and I'm sure being soaking wet is going to make things a lot laugh funnier, and they'll laugh it off later. I'm sure. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. the one. The one. The one downside is when the police are done searching for your imaginary friend, you in trouble. Like yeah. she's, she's like, I'll invent somebody, and then they'll die because they're not oh. real, and they all won't be in trouble. See, you can't arrest a, a a dead imaginary person for DUI. I didn't do it. It was. Guy of the lake. The the logic of someone who is still drunk, unfortunately, has the problem. Very Thinking your way out of a, a a DUI involves being having to be sober to do it. I just looked up, like I'm looking at this little man-made pond, like this like retention pond style. Yeah. It's in a nice little area. This is a nice little part of Arizona. What the heck's going on? You think no one's gonna notice the SUV careening through? And and yeah. SUVs are are when you do that sort of shit, that's not covered by insurance. So you, your car is oh. gone. It's over. That, that the car is done. I'm pretty sure insurance doesn't do doesn't want to do anything for you ever again after that point. You might have to move on. Yeah, this is uh, you you like I can't even imagine what's happened to all the liquids that are involved in a vehicle when just everything is submerged. Floats up. Yeah. Goodness. So, well, <laughs> is this another UK one? I can't, it's yeah, this is Jesus, Dom. Dom, what's going on? I refuse to take responsibility for all of the UK. Would you like to at least explain why they keep happening right now? I'm not there to look after them. <laughs> <laughs> you can't turn your back on them for like five minutes. Dad, Daddy left and they started stealing tanks and whatever's about to happen next. Oh, my. Well, yeah, this is... All right, come on. Let me click the damn thing, please. Thank you. There we go. Um, Buffoon exposed himself trying to pay for alcohol with penis. Okay, I already have points for this author because they started the title with Buffoon. Yeah, on the right track. He's picked us. This is not going to mean impartial uh, (laughs) article. Okay, I I have to. Before I read any further, I'm going to try and take on bets here with this. Like, I'll let you see it, I'll let you touch it, or I'm going to trade it. <laughs> Do you want... Like, this is dark, but if this is on a school grounds or something, it's not just see it. Like, uh, like uh. my my YouTube instincts are kicking here. Do you want... What do you think? Say in the comments. If they would, what was the offer for the penis? There you go. Uh, if this was a live stream on YouTube, you could make a poll, and then we could chime in and see what the poll is. Maybe it was, I won't show it to you if you give me the Jack Daniels. Oh, and even better, he was his own legal representative. Guy Willis is his name. 34-year-old was wow. charged with exposure, with particulars of the offense, stating that he intentionally exposed his genitals, intending that someone would see them because alarm or distress. Um... Defendant entered a uh, convenience store in the Orford area to buy some alcohol. When he was asked to pay by the shop worker, Willis dropped his shorts and underpants to his ankle, exposed his penis, and said, quote, can I pay with this? And if I'd been yeah, there... Just, just, just tap it on the scanner. <laughs> my, 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 I, I, I would have had so much love and respect for that store clerk if they'd just gone, you're going to need something bigger to pay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not enough. We, we, we can't make change for something that small. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's just... Yes. I, it's, uh, the defendant was identified through closed-circuit television court of the incident. Or it was told that Willis has six previous conventions for 11 offenses. Keep That's playing. where I'm at right now. What were the five he got away for? 11 offenses? He pled not guilty... After oh, being charged yeah. and was and was convicted after a trial. I had a belt accident, okay? It wasn't my fault. Um, experienced listener Gary Heaven referenced how nobody had to attend court to give evidence. 
with his, this not being a situation where the witness uh, were put through the anxiety of cross-examination during the trial. Quote, I struggle to find from my experience a more misjudged example of buffoonery than this. He was That's always awesome. going to be identified and come to the attention of police. One has to question what on earth was in his mind at the time. That's awesome. Magistrate se sentenced Willis to a community order of 30 days of rehabilitation, 90 day uh, alcohol monitoring requirement. He must also sign the sex offender, offender registry for five years. See, that's that's the bad one. Every time you get your dick out in public. Th that's that's yeah, that's the thing that will be stopping you getting a job for the next half decade. You go well, on six, the bad yes. list. Six previous convictions and 11 offenses. I still say he got off easy with all the stuff he had on at like, that point. You can, the, the excuses start, like, right after mentioning, uh, calling him a buffoon. Because it's like, oh, well, he drink you the time. He made a mistake. There were no children present. Still let your dick out, buddy. Like, right. Yeah. Because now, yeah. now you have to do the neighborhood tour. You have to go and knock oh. on the door. So everybody, hello, I'm a sex offender. I live in your area. And then you have they to make you do that in the UK, but it's... Oh, they don't? Then, I don't well, think even, so. I've, e I was gonna say, I've never heard of it happening. Even so, even if you did, but then you have to explain, no, no, I never sexually offended it touched anyone. I just pulled my pants up and tried to buy booze for my way. I tried to oh, use my dear. dick as legal tender. Yeah. <laughs> Which I'm not, what's the conversion rate to pounds? I don't, how, how many, how many dicks to a shilling? I, that does sound, on, I would imagine it would depend on the dick. Like, yeah. I'd say, judging from this person's behavior, I'd say he's about 25 pence. <laughs> yeah. And also, does age matter? Because if it's like in a prime example, is it worth more? Is this guy, I don't know how old this guy was. How old was he? They usually love yeah. Sammy age, don't they? Uh, they usually do. Venus in the window. All right. Only oh. four years old. I don't know. I, I don't know. It's mm. Younger than us. Yeah. All right. Uh, moving along. We have, uh, this, is, this is Florida. So, you know, you're off the hook okay. again. Um, I don't understand what the fuck. Fuck happened here. Can I get the video for this? I think I did. Florida happened. You know, I don't even yeah. need the video for this one. This is just what the living shit. All right. Um, everyone was this was actually kind of a big deal this week. Alabama woman arrested after allegedly throwing a computer monitor at Miami Airport gate agent. Uh, Camilla McMillie was charged with felonies of aggravated battery and criminal mischief as well as a misdemeanor disorderly conduct. It gets worse somehow. It's... I so many mixed emotions here because my first thought is girl, same. Second thought is, hey, don't, don't abuse the staff. Second thought is, oh no, she going to jail for a long time because you don't, you don't I... fuck with airport staff. I, I'm torn between two feelings. One, you go through the airport once during the holidays, you know how miserable it is and everything's messed up, schedules are backed up, the luggage is gone, everything's a nightmare. But when GSA has to deal with people like this all the time, I, I can't, I don't know how to feel. Uh, 25 year old Camilla McMillie of Birmingham was traveling from Alabama to New York, to New York with a stopover in Miami. McMillie perfor uh, reportedly became irate and began to scream. After noticing her two minor children had wandered away without notice to use a nearby restroom, a uh, restroom, uh, while she was with the gate agent to check in to her flight that was rebooked after she mixed this the previous one, she pulled the boarding pass reader off the wooden counter, damaging the equipment in the countertop area. As she continued to scream, she then grabbed the computer monitor and threw it at the gate agent, striking her in the shoulder. So she lost so, her kids after she missed her flight. Blamed on to... Now she's about to make sure everyone misses their flight for the next hour or so. And and just she hulked out, essentially, is what happened. I was gonna say some of those readers are like fastened and secured to those stands, too. That is some rage. Just I don't understand why the gate agent's problem that your kids aren't there. What? Yeah. Also, yeah. why is your immediate prop like anger towards the not like oh shit I need to go find my kids it's, I'm gonna smash some shit yeah not like, panic for your children at an airport in Florida uh, like uh, whatever this is I don't know if people realize this but whatever normal stupid bullshit you get involved in in out regular life 
it all is compounded when you do it in an airport. Yep. Nobody plays there. Like you do. There's a link on the article that leads to video. Oh yeah, that's yes, uh, yeah. Oh, it does. Okay, and you can you can watch. It's it's kind of. Oh, I gotta stay for another bloody advent. Goodness, the fuck is mixable. Uh, yeah, is this American? Yeah, it was American Airlines. Where is it? There it is. All right, here we go. Yeah. Now at six, the holiday travel run just fuck. Oh, the dude was dressed in antlers. He was trying to be whimsical. Yeah. That one TSA should try to have a good holiday season while working that miserable job. And look what happened. Mm-hmm. There, there, whoa, there she goes. Just yeah. I'm in with the, the, and now she was point, point blank range. Dang. That's assault. That is assault. And so. now, now she's screaming. She wants them to find her kids. <laughs> Not how that works. She, no, you find your own. Find your, what? If I was the kids, I kind of understand sneaking off to go to the bathroom. Like, that was our chance. Ooh. That's the plan to get on a home oh, alone shit. style plane and like yeah, Luke, New York on your own. Luke, you were right. Like this wasn't some tiny little ticket scanner. This was like a whole oh, ass those fucking things, con. Those things are secured in. Like that's not like just like pick up a mouse. No, yeah. you got to get some rage and strength together to pull that. The thing she's knocking over is just like a full ass counter. She's like, Rah. damn. I mean, yeah. I wonder what she lifts. Cause damn. She's going to go to jail and lift a lot if she has enough time. Oh, goodness. Last one. Consider this a preview of what's to come. This one was they, they, amazing. I don't. Holy crap. Could I... All right, let's just let's just dive in. Oh, that's probably bad phrasing. I don't care. Bit. Hospital evacuated over elderly man with explosive lodged in his rectum. Ooh. Rectum. Was he a coyote by any chance? Because that sounds... Damn near killed him. Look at the size of that thing. He had a bomb in his bum, is how the article starts. Everyone. French hospital was reportedly evacuated after an 88-year-old man arrived with an artillery shell lodged in his rectum. It happened Saturday in Hospital St. Uh, Mousse in Toulon, southern France. The French publication Varmatin uh, reported the elderly man had a World War I artillery shell partially inside him. Parts of the hospital were evacuated. Emergency patients uh, were diverted. As they dealt with the delicate situation, the shell was about eight inches long and two inches wide. I, I see you have the picture on screen. <laughs> That's a big shell. That's massive. That is not normal artillery either, even for World War One. If they don't, if they didn't ask him why, that's not in the article. I'm gonna freak out. I'm gonna throw a monitor to TSA. Taylor says, "Talk about explosive diarrhea." Oh God! Why? Talk about dropping a bomb. Nothing in the article explains why. Which is, you're 88 years old, and you have. (laughs) A World War One artillery which, shell up your ass. Which again, why the access access to those is also extremely rare, if not impossible. This is so like there's like bad libs. <laughs> what? How little, did did he put it there? Did he? That's what I was wondering too, because that is because he's eighty eight. He's probably not too limber, you know. So he had to have had some help. You don't know. Yeah. Was this? Was this like a danger-based sexual thing, or did he piss off like a really weird mobster? Like, <laughs> maybe at the elderly... I was thinking more maybe at the elderly home. You know how frat sorority parties have, like, hazy... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah. the elderly... You went oh, into the cool sun yeah. geriatric home, yeah, and then, yeah. like... How much, like, if you're using this as a dildo, how much the fuck is that gonna run you? That's an antique. Like, you could get... Not got smooth edges. Like that thing's got like the the ballistic. It's got the shell. It's got the, the explosive powder. And stuff. like that shit's not silicon. You know, like you can get the proper shit for like fifty bucks. Also, that's heavy and dense too. Like, there's no way that's easy to hold around. Even if you see the doctor like holding it in the palm. Yeah, it's no, I'm gonna, I have to know if this was kinky grandpa or some sort of horrible vengeance. Like, why would they not? 
If it was horrible vengeance, we would have more answers, I think. I think it's the first stop. I think like, is this, this is like the, the weirdest vigilante in the world? I don't yeah. so he comes out of the shadows like, hello, you you shove something at my father's bum. Now I'll prepare to die. Exactly. Like, one fart, this whole building goes down. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Also, um, how did he get to the what did they have send an ambulance to him? <laughs> or did he show up to urgent care with his pants down because he didn't get his pants over that? You're never going to believe what happened to me. Yeah. One in a million shot, Doc. Was it like a two-way phone, like a like a Skype call attached to his chest? It's like, riddle me this, Batman. <laughs> must come out. What goes in? You know. <laughs> Better out than in. <laughs> you must find a way to de on this man before the time runs out. I'm just going to... I'm just gonna sit back and let you see the air of your ways. Can you just imagine Doc, with the bomb squad? I'm sorry, what? He he's got a what in the what? Yeah, yeah and they have no you have a bad day. Like, yeah. Do I call the bomb squad or do I call a proctologist? Like, because I don't think anyone's multi-classed into that yet. <laughs> I'm also thinking, do they have to send the remote control bob unit to like? <laughs> oh, yeah, little, I don't know how cool <laughs> Twist, twist, twist. Uh, I'm stuck in here too now. Kill me. <laughs> if this is someone's kink, this is weirdly specific. Like, really weirdly. And, a ha- and a hard to come by, too. Again, uh, how do you get access to that? And that's what you do with it? All right, which one of us is switching on their VPN and Googling to see if this is a thing? I'm not uh, listening not, on my not search history. Nah, not a chance. Not no, no, no. That could go That could go on Reddit. I don't. Someone else could do that for us. So yeah, that's uh this week. What did we learn? We learned that uh you can evacuate a hospital because there's an old man with an explosive in his asshole for some reason. Well, we've learned there's cheaper things and less dangerous things to shut up there, my dude. Uh, which one? <laughs> um, we yeah. we've learned that any crime you commit in a in a uh, airport, it's so much worse. It's like a force multiplier. I um, learned that you should keep an eye on your children, even in Florida. Yeah. And apparently, yeah, yeah. No matter how much you feel for these people, there will be eventually be a diminishing returns when it comes to being an absolute jackass in this situation. Yeah. We learned that uh, you you can't, that your your dick is not legal tender for boobs. Yeah. Um, only be yeah, somewhere yeah. in the world. <laughs> you can, you, if you're like Burning Man or something. <laughs> No, I'm just it's like, food, it's like food stamps. It's only good for some foods so that you could actually have proof up by the yeah. I'm sorry, the dick store is actually down the street. Uh, yeah. This is the this is the nipple store. Do you want to trade some of them? You, 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 well, I'm sure people have tried that. So we've learned you can't get out of a DOI by inventing an imaginary driver. Make the police crank. You can make some cops very wet and miserable, which is a ton. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And though when those t- when you're wet, those tasers come out. It's gonna hurt a yeah. lot. I, you know, I, yeah, I guess at a certain point, like, well, I'm in trouble anyway. I might as well ruin these two. Like, my baby's still in there. Oh, no. I, can, I can at least get 12 cops off the road for pulling tickets for people. That's my good justice. Tr- that is true. That Yeah, that's my gift to you at Christmas. Get the cops out off the streets and into the river. We've learned you can lose a fight with a tree. And I mean, anyway. knew that. Yeah. And, We've all been there. And, and, no. You've learned that, uh, Better watch out. You better not cry, or Santa Claus will drive a fucking tank down your street. Not just one either. Like, this is an army. This yeah. is the North Pole army. He so. want enough people to Santa's. work the tank. Yeah. How did they get a tank? This is how did they this get that not to me. And how did they get it there? Because it's in the road too. Why was Santa Orange? Why were they in Cornwall, Nash? Why did you do this to us? And how many Santas? That yeah. that deserves an answer too. Was it a platoon of Santas or just a squad? Oh, like, who was? Yeah. Did the Santas have a ranking system? Was there a Captain Santa and a Lieutenant Santa, a Sergeant Santa? Santa? Is there a Santa ROTC for training with military? Like, you have to just go to Santa school? Ugh. I, I didn't know Santa was a nation, let alone that it had a standing army uh, or fucking artillery. Merry that, Christmas, yeah, it's everybody! Like, it's that time of year again. This is, this is the last show of, uh, the year for for uh, Radio Dead Air, which means we we have the a special to the books. Uh, yeah, this is. Well, I wouldn't have phrased it that way, but sure. I'm for the books. Uh, this is a uh, a collection of things done by of of 
goes through all of the uh, emergency room reports and uh, all sorts of news archives. It's done by a very diligent gentleman by the name of Barry Pacheski, who should be known for other things, uh, running uh, Defector.com, it's an uh, answer to when Gizmodo started imploding Gawker and all that shit. Defector is an excellent website. You should go. You should subscribe to it. They have wonderful things like what he does every year. He brings us the wonder of the be hit stuck in our rectums last year. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the be let's let's begin the rectal spectrum. And it is as is our custom, we will begin north and slowly go south. Let's start with the ear. Here's a list of things. Mercy rooms across the country found in people's ears this year. Let's start with uh, BB shot from a distance. Ouch. Ooh, that's just painful. Oh. Was seen for earache, but found to be positive for cocaine metabolite. In the ear? Cuffling. Yeah. Tried using a knife to cut it out, but was unsuccessful. Man, that's desperate. Mistakenly used shoe glue instead of eardrops. Come on! Why is that? <laughs> Lighter fluid. Lighter fluid. Air freshener Ooh. bead. Doing <laughs> magic trick in school. Put pencil eraser in here when unable to retrieve it. And the first thing I'm thinking of, hey, you want to see a trick? <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> battleship game piece. I don't think there's a battleship there. I think you missed. D5, D12, D8, A7. Are you cheating? Yeah, you too. Ugh. Fruit fly was on her headphone when she put it in her ear and felt buzzing. Used hydrogen peroxide to kill the fly with persistent burning discomfort in ear. I'm sure if the fly is still alive. No, no, it is not. I promise. Let's move on to the nose. Gum wrapper. Yarn. Tic Tacs says he was smelling a magnet and it went up his nostril. That is the dumb kid in class. Let's get it right there. That's the dumb kid in the back of class who just does stuff because. Put a jewel up his nose while making a crown. Aw. It was the crown in his nose too? Like what? Put an LED light her right nostril in the tip to break her brother, but was unable to get it out. Okay, Good bad respect break. there. Good but trick. Good trick. You got him. Yeah. <laughs> you, you really got him. You really got him there. Next one, Bash, please. A book or a bug? Why do you get those things confused? Who was writing that report? How do you... Okay. What? It's, <laughs> it's either a mosquito or a copy of Catcher in the Rye. I'm not yeah. sure. Good, good sir. You're saying book or bug? I don't know. It's like something on my nose. It's a book or bug. We go hard starting with the throat. I don't even fucking know how. Steak knife. Dave. Sim card. <laughs> Swan, get good reception in there. Yeah. Yeah. Blue stick. Man, they're delicious, I get it, but you don't eat them whole. Bingo chip. Oh, was it like the next person playing bingo and they call it's like, the heck you do? <laughs> Dropped his otter prop onto the floor, which was covered in metal shavings from a drill press, and continued to eat the otter pop. Why are you eating otter pop in shop class, pal? <laughs> in the garage? Why? <laughs> he went for... Was smart enough to do this is not smart enough to be operating heavy machinery. Yeah, I'm thinking if they're working at a lumber mill, they should not eat popsicles also. Ugh. Video game controller. Now, this is, I've got questions. It's got to be the Switch, right? Because that's, <laughs> right? Luke has given up. What? what? Yeah. No, no, How? Not a chance. No, try it. Try it. Well, okay. Try it. Just really, really okay. shove it in there. Shove it in. Yeah. Maybe a Wii really Boat? It. Maybe? Like, yeah. I was thinking, well, one of the Switch Joy-Cons. One. If it, was the, if it was the old N64 controller, that guy's dead. Yeah. Hey. Devil, devil horns all up in his lung. <laughs> the last one there is, is a small key to a diary. You well, know this someone was trying to do yeah. that. Yeah. New. Yeah. Mom is not hiding my secrets. Yeah. Someone's dreams are so safe. 
Yeah, it's all the they... gastral the gastral system, not so much. It's mm. anus time. Oh. The first one, it killed me. All right, the first one is just picture it. Okay, are you ready? Do I want? Do I want to? Right now, I'm picturing Nash walking into a room and yelling, "It's penis time!" And that's just a reward in itself. Oh, car key. You got to go back to the dealer to get a copy of that, then. It's flooded. Pencil. I got, I, could you sign this for me? Of course. <laughs> so yeah, I'll sign it for you. Paper clip. Which is, you, ever, you remember oh. when, when, when you ever, we used to have CD-ROM drives and that little hole in it? My CD got stuck. So you'd pull out yeah. the paper clip and you'd jam it in the little hole. That's not how it works with people. I bet that PC really likes it. Maybe I'll like it. Yeah, you, you no, know, I'm... if someone jams a paper clip up your dick, you're not spitting out a CD-ROM. Ceiling fan chain in his penis hole stayed since Smith since the shower at nine last night. Uh huh. Honestly, the, the amount of time it's been in there is less important to me than why. <laughs> Feed the chain in. Yeah. That's a gag. It, it does, Someone did that. It's still attached to the, uh, to the ceiling for the time, so I was like, okay, switch it on. Whoa, really? <laughs> <laughs> Inflatable First. sex toy. How? Okay, yeah, was it un uninflated when he stuck it in there and then he had his friend or lover blow it up while it was in there? Ch that's, that's the not, only like, oh, with the ball job works. With, like, with, the, uh, with, with the bike tire pump, like. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's like penis pumps go on the outside, my dude. USB cord, that's a popular one that's gone up the dick quite a few times here. Oh. Dude, we're like, dude, dude. Plug it in. See what information comes out. <laughs> Turn it around. No, no. Upside down. You have it upside down. Turn it around again. I don't know how this... Cell phone charger and 14-inch cord. He lying. He lying. So it was like... More, was it like snaked out? Like it was just like threaded around? I mean, I, I think he was two inches off the 14-inch cord. Yeah. Just like, yeah. Just say it was the whole thing, dog. Do me a favor. Let's head to the uh, vagina was holding pen near her vagina when the cap dislodged and stuck inside. Holding a pen near and just... It was her vagina like a vacuum at the time? <laughs> Two pencil sharpeners. Oh, gonna, you know when they were gonna... wouldn't be enough. You know what they were gonna try, don't you? And I, I bet you it's because they wanted to put the pencil sharpener there at first to try to use a human pencil sharpener. That's what they were trying to do. Oh, oh but the shavings in that. And that's spinning around. Oh, the shavings! Oh, let's go! Oh. This one does not uh, clarify. It says drumstick. So it could either be a stick for playing a drum or a piece of a bird. Or the ice cream. Oh, or I'm thinking it's... It's... she was trying to do like a special musical trip. Yeah. Yeah. Can you play Wipeout with that drum solo? I, I don't know. I don't know. Camera lens cap. I think we know exactly how that got stuck in there. Just pick it off before you put it up there. Didn't take it. There you go. If it made this list, they had to go to a hospital for assistance with yeah. it. Yeah. Which is why this next one is horrifying because it is spatula. Right. She. There's no way she could have hidden that on the ride to the hospital. Yeah. No. Well, unless, tried? let's see, if it went in the one way, it probably would come back yeah. out. It would have to go yeah. in the other way for it to be a plus. So, yeah. Yeah. Hey, kitty. <laughs> Focus on the cat. Let's, yeah, okay, right before we go, yeah, before we go on, there's two kitties now. Let's have a little palate cleanser before the last awful piece, please. I had to, I had to, my, my cat's car, I had to close my door because my parents are staying with me over Christmas and I, they, could, they couldn't hear this. <laughs> not for them. I wonder what's inside your butthole. Oh. Oh, this is so, so long. Fast. It's like, I want to catch up for Bob yeah. and I. Ah. We have to scroll on this motherfucking list. <laughs> Guys, this is a lot. Quote, sent by wife for possible 16 ounce glass bottle in rectum. How it's do you definite. Yes, yes or no? How do you not know? 16 ounces? I love that they have to say, like, he wasn't going to come in unless it, or she wasn't going to come in until her wife told My wife me. made me. Man. Look, I can't find this bottle anywhere, so there's only one place left it could be. You go to the hospital. Guess, 
Sorry, I'm, sure. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm reading ahead and just, like, That's so right, many of them, so many of them are claiming it happened by accident. <laughs> See, I'm trying not to. I'm trying not to go ahead, but man. Uh, uh. Ratchet wrench? T-handle wrench. Says was in the shower and fell. The shower stopper stuck Ooh. up right. Uh, uh, it was just perfectly placed upward, right? <laughs> right. You would be amazed how many times human beings fall on things and somehow they end up up their butthole. Yes. Amazing yeah. how when they when they fall, somehow their legs shoot out perfectly in front of them, then don't get it like they fall rectum first in a straight yeah, down motion. And they're clearly spreading their butt cheeks when falling too, instead of using their hands to grace yeah. the fall. And these strangely phallic objects are just directly below them as they fall down the perfectly vertical arch. It's just incredible how often that happens. Action Ugh. figure head. Action figure. Toilet well, brush. Yeah, yeah, I Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Quote, patient Wait, complaining, complaining of rectal pain. Patient admits to inserting sex toys six months prior. That's impressive. Shit this whole time. That constipation is on like a journal writing level. Like New England journal ah. style. Spoon! Uh, well... Vibrator eggs, patient's not sure if fast in stool. Again, you know or you don't. They're, I'm so, f the possible, no. Yes, yeah, so like, okay, here's the hint. Regular poo doesn't vibrate. Yeah, and it's also not perfectly cylindrical. It doesn't yeah. work that way. I wonder well. if this shizzle ass talk has got my vibrator heads. Fishing bowl! What the fuck? Real and a good one. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Wait a minute. So it just has to have the, the handle or like the real piece, like the thread goes through. Does it say? Oh man, can you mend her like some rednecks? Like the guy's like trying to reel it in while it's, oh. Reusable ice rack. Oh my God. No, that's what you made it at one time, you sir. Oh, you made it at one time. <laughs> Had a few beers and then placed a long wax candle into his rectum, lost balance and fell onto a couch and lost all the. Candle. Okay, so this person fell without at least they're admitting that they shoved up their ass on purpose. They told it. How they became an idiot. Okay, but that's something. Don't drink and shove things up your ass, kid. Says Ugh. girlfriend put vibrator in rectum while he was asleep. Nope. Relationship over. <laughs> nope. That's a court statement sentence right there. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Who can sleep through that? Yeah, you exactly. And also, does he sleep naked? <laughs> I mean, I, I did. Uh, I, well, goodness. Ugh. Um, billiard ball. Oh shit! I all of this like box. Those things are dense too. I'm bit like they're like twice the size of pool balls. P pool pool balls. Pool ball. ball. Oh, that's what they pool call balls. this too at the dock at the ER. That's what they call it too, a pool ball. You're Patient right. says he was playing with a container of athlete's foot spray at. Accidentally ended up. That what was the game? What possible? Like, <laughs> okay. Whoops. Piece of a broom handle. Piece. Uh, a piece. Well, you know what that was? It was like, okay, now I'm gonna get to the hospital. I'm gonna have to snap this bad boy off because I. Yeah, I'm, I think so too. I'm not cleaning every little street between here and the ER. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is a one line tale. This is a one line horror story. Put in butt plug, then fell asleep. Now can't find butt. <laughs> <laughs> is it possible they're just very forgettable? Like, for okay, listen. No, I mean, I don't, I don't want to admit to knowing, like, what butt plugs are shaped like, but they usually aren't. They usually don't have the capacity just to just keep on going. There's usually something attached to the end that blocks that. Oh, Monopoly piece. I can tell you exactly why the Monopoly piece went up there. Someone got pissed at the game, and shoved. <laughs> It better not have been that little dog. Uh -uh, that's not cool. <laughs> and the last yeah. one is the only believable story on this entire list. Two poker chips because of a bet. Dudes, do know that. Yeah. I'll give you a chance to make your buddy back. Uh, yeah. uh, 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 either pay me now or, or I'll call the debt now. Bye. I uh. triple dog dare you. Mariona says, I think he lost. Chris says, you bet your ass. <laughs> uh, 